Made in Germany, a label introduced in Great Britain as a protective action against goods from Germany anticipated as cheap and of minor quality developed over the years into a seal of quality or a anticipated quality guarantee. But what is behind made in Germany? What is allowed to be called made in Germany? I had a closer look and if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello and welcome to WatchMaxi's watch videos. My name is Axel and I'm glad to have you on the show. My channel focuses on German watch brands, not necessarily on watches made in Germany. And that has been a comment I've repeatedly received under my videos and on social media. Uh, one watch or another I've showed and presented and did a review about is not made in Germany. Yeah, that's true because the brand was located in Germany and made in Germany has never been of that importance to me. But I got curious to understand a bit more in detail what made in Germany is and what is the qualification to use made in Germany as a label. So I had a deeper look into information publicly available. I'm no legal practitioner nor a lawyer, so whatever I'm telling you in this video is public information and my personal interpretation, no legal advice. If you do know better or if you um, can correct me, I'm happy to receive your comments in the, uh, under the video. I'm going to structure the video into the historical origin of Made in Germany, um, some legal background, how German um, courts sentenced about Made in Germany, how it is applied in practice and my personal view and my personal relevance to watches. Um, historically, Made in Germany was introduced towards the end of the 19th century in Great Britain to protect local products against goods from Germany anticipated as cheap and of minor quality. Over the years, Made in Germany developed from a negative label into a kind of seal of quality um, people um, anticipate with made in Germany a certain of good quality. But what is behind? What is allowed to be called made in Germany? Are there certain criteria to be fulfilled? Stay tuned. I'll show you what the German courts say and what the German practice say and how it affects the watchmaking industry. In 1973, there has been a fundamental decision of the Federal High Court of Justice um, stating um, basically that the consumer understands made in Germany as produced in Germany. However, a average consumer, whatever that is, understands that a product is not produced from the initial idea through the ready product for sales completely and exclusively in Germany. So there may be certain parts or component groups which are bought from abroad, but the essential production steps which create the value which is important for the customer need to take place in Germany. To be honest, I think this is pretty imprecise and um, doesn't give much of a certainty around what is allowed and what not. Looking at watches, what can be an essential part of a watch? It can be the movement. It could be the adjustment of the movement. It could be the decoration of the movement. It can be the case, the dial, the hands, the bracelet, um, the crystal and many other parts. So, and, and that's just a watch. Made in Germany refers to the whole bunch of industry goods produced in Germany or sold in Germany. So it is really hard to say this or that part is allowed or not. So this was a first shot. It was a, um, 
fundamental decision of the Federal High Court of Justice, but it wasn't very concrete, it wasn't very precise. In 1995, there has been a concretion of a higher regional court in Stuttgart, which stated that it is a misleading statement to call a product made in Germany if essential parts of the product are produced outside of Germany. For me as a non-legal person, not a legal practitioner or lawyer, it kind of sounds exactly what we've heard before, just in a rephrased manner. But what the um, higher regional court of Stuttgart said is that the average consumer well understands that with the increasing globalization and the international, international division of labor, certain production steps are outsourced so that the assembling of a watch or another product, including parts or component groups from other countries, can qualify a product or a watch as made in Germany as long as, and here we have it again, as the essential step and the essential valued feature is added in Germany without further defining what essential and key feature is. So what does it mean in practice? Um, there has been a question, can a product be called made in Germany if it is produced outside of Germany according to German quality standards on German machines with German technology and German patents. And the question has been no. The average consumer, whoever that is, looks at made in Germany as produced in Germany in terms of the regional aspect of that wording. It's not a abstract idea, it's the regional focus of the country Germany. So even if German machines, German standards, German design, German patents have been applied, a production of essential parts outside of Germany does not qualify for the label made in Germany. As we have learned, that does not affect all parts since non-essential parts or component groups are allowed to be produced outside of Germany. Um, unfortunately, this leaves a wide margin of interpretation. We don't have any precise guidance. Um, legal sentences are always focused on the single case whenever a case or a product or the usage of made in Germany has been brought to a court. This particular case and product has been sentenced. Nothing in general since a general guidance with a complete catalog of criteria for all possible products was impossible to do. So it's always a certain range of uncertainty, um, goodwill and belief into the label. So I, I digged a little bit deeper because I thought there must be something more concrete and indeed there is. The Germans, German Customs Code, the respective executive order and the Chamber of Industry and Commerce in Germany have defined not exactly identical but pretty close that the last production step which adds essential value to the product and creates the valued feature for the consumer has to be done in Germany and has to add at least 45% of the value to the product. So they didn't come only from the um, essential production step side but also from the value creation side and this is a figure which you can measure. 45% of the value creation have to take place in Germany. It can be by 
uh, quality control. It can be by assembling a product. It can be by finishing a product. It can be by decoration. It can be by small adjustments and changes. There are a couple of things which can be done in Germany and add value to the product and justify the label made in Germany. Um, however, if you buy a lot of cheap goods and parts and component groups of minor quality, assemble them in Germany, um, finish them, decorate them, make them nice looking. It doesn't really change the basic quality you bought and used. So this alone doesn't guarantee a superior quality made in Germany. It just guarantees a value creation made in Germany. Talking watches, what does it mean? Before I go into details, um, I did a lot of research for that video, more than I usually do. I've talked to a couple of watch producers and um, watch mechanics to understand what is what is um, the usance in the industry. And what I've learned is that many, if not all watch brands use parts, some parts, many parts produced outside of Germany to create their watches, which are labeled made in Germany. For good reasons, I don't tell any names, neither a, a model nor a brand name, but I believe that this is the rule rather than an exemption. Um, as an example, can a watch which has a Swiss or a Japanese movement, an Asian case and an Asian bracelet or strap, can that watch be made in Germany labeled? And the answer is yes. The movement could be adjusted and regulated in Germany, which adds value because the work is done in Germany. It could be decorated with Geneva stripes, Palage or other, other nice decorations. You could add another rotor to the movement, which again adds value. And if it looks nicer, is more accurate, it is, it can be considered as an essential feature of the movement. So a Swiss movement can be labeled or can be built into a watch which is made in Germany. Same applies for the case. If you buy an Asian case and you polish it, you brush it, you bleed blast it, you um, make it nicer, better looking, you add value, you add work in Germany. And then you have, um, let's say, hands, dials, crystal in Germany. You assemble the whole watch in Germany. So the value creation of at least 45% shouldn't be a real challenge in that particular case. Um, you may play around with parts. You may change one part against the other, assemble other watches. Um, I think it's clear that a watch labeled made in Germany may contain many parts which are not originally produced in Germany. Um, my personal view on that I, I never was too keen on made in Germany um, since I do know that there are very, very good watches which don't have the made in Germany label. Um, however, I think that made in Germany is a kind of um, diffuse quality promise. What do I mean by that? Um, it is a pretty good marketing instrument. People believe in made in Germany as being a quality above average. And the German industry, I think, puts a lot of effort into that marketing label and doesn't want to harm it by producing minor quality labeled as made in Germany. So I think made in Germany is a promise, is a quality promise, is a reasonably good, if not above average quality. However, there are no concrete criterions which need to be fulfilled in order to meet that superior quality. It is more a give and take between the marketing value 
and the quality. That's my personal view, not more and not less. If you like these kind of videos, if you have corrections, put it into the comments and look forward to the next videos to come. Cheers, Axel.